Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after a long time of not really giving Firefox too much attention, Mozilla seems to be refocusing once again on Firefox, where they are now working on a good couple of features. As you can see here in Nightly, we've got a um, topics of interest. The logo for Firefox can be moved. If we head over to our settings, we've got Firefox Labs where you can test the sidebar, vertical tabs, AI chatbot, picture in picture, and so on. And uh, to some extent, some of these have also rolled out to Firefox Labs in the stable version. And what I'll do is I'll leave a playlist regarding Firefox uh, in the end screen where you can go check out that a little bit more in depth if you'd like some more information. Now, another area where Mozilla is trying to bring Firefox once again into line with the other mainstream web browsers is it seems that they are now working on officially supporting the marker effect in Firefox Nightly. And Firefox Nightly is a very early preview of the browser. So as an example, an equivalent would be Edge Canary or Chrome Canary. Now, marker effect gives the title bar, as an example, um, the tab strip a bit of a translucent effect and picks up the background um, from what's beneath the browser, as an example, your wallpaper. And I've already enabled the flags which are needed to enable marker effect in the nightly. And I'm only seeing a subtle difference to what we get in the stable. I've enabled quite a bright wallpaper. And I can pick up a slight transparency at the top here um, in the tab strip and the title bar at the top. And these are the three flags you need to enable by heading to about colon config in Firefox and Nightly. And I'll leave these um, down below in the description for you to copy and paste. You need to enable all three of these. And all you do is you change the value from false to true with each of these flags. So if you are running the Nightly version, there's a good chance you must probably will know how to do that. So head to about colon config look and search for all three of these flags and change each each one's value from false to true. And then you should start seeing a bit of the marker effect. And if I head over to the stable version, just to give you a comparison, that looks pretty much solid black or a much darker. There's no marker effect there because it's not, this is not available as yet in stable. And if I head back to nightly, I think there is a bit of a transparency that is showing through there very slightly, but nonetheless, it is, it is still early days. And something you need to just take note of if you want this marker effect to work after enabling the flags, you need to set the theme as auto. So if we head into our settings in nightly general page, it needs to be on automatic for this to work properly. But you can fiddle with light and dark. I find it works fine with dark and automatic, but make sure it's on automatic. You should get your best results uh, if it is on automatic. And this is only for Windows 11. Um, we don't, this is not rolling out for Windows 10. Windows 10 does not have marker um, capabilities. And something else to take notice of if you are running Windows 11, you need to head to your personalization in the settings and you need to s turn on transparency effects. So if transparency effects is off, there's a good chance then that this will not work. But nonetheless, make sure it's on automatic, turn on transparency effects in Windows 11, enable these flags in about colon config, and there's a good chance you should start seeing some of that marker, but it's still early days. Uh, there is a bit of work to do on this, obviously. Um, I think it should be a little bit more translucent to what I'm actually seeing. And just to give us an example, I have um, I've got this a screenshot from Reddit where this was all um, posted on about the marker effect. And yeah, maybe this will give us a better idea as to the marker effect in this screenshot uh, with the, um, the vertical tabs and obviously that tab strip and title bar. I think this image gives us a better indication of what that will look like. But nonetheless, still early days. And it seems now that that's another mainstream browser and um, feature that's going to be making its way into Firefox. And I'll keep my close eye, I'll keep a close eye on this one like I do with all of these new features. And if it starts, you know, getting into better shape 
and moving down to stable, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.